Hello, this is Abhijit Mukherjee. I am going to teach you today. Class 6 Science, Chapter 5, Sorting of Materials into Groups, Part 2. As you know, we have been learning grouping on the basis of common properties like roughness, hardness, lustre, transparency, solubility. Today we are going to start about state and flotation and attraction towards magnet and conduction of heat and conduction of electricity. Grouping makes it easier for us to find things when we need them because we place or sort similar things together. For example, we are going to sort out these things into meaningful groups. Number one ant and number four cockroach are insects. Number two cows and number six deer are animals. Number 3 rose plant and number 5 grapevine are plants. Objects are made of different materials and one material can be used to make different objects. This is possible because different types of materials have different properties like roughness, lustre, hardness, transparency, solubility, flotation, attraction towards a magnet, conduction of heat and conduction of electricity. We are studying these properties one by one. A stone is rough to touch while the flower petals are smooth to touch. So materials can be rough or smooth. A rough material will have bumps or ridges on their surface and can be felt easily by touching them. While smooth materials lack these bumps, we have lots of examples like rock, sandpaper, bark of trees as rough surfaces and glass, seed, flower petals, surface of apple are smooth surfaces. Gold jewelry have lustre. So metals shine because of luster. If metals are pure, then they are shiny and this property is called luster. Hardness is another property. Materials can be hard or soft depending upon the ability to compress them. Hard materials are difficult to compress while soft materials are easily compressible. The ability to allow passage of light through them is called transparency. Based on transparency, materials can be of three types, transparent, translucent and opaque. The glass of the window is a transparent material as it allows light to pass through them easily. The frosted glass, however, is a translucent material as it allows partially the light to pass through them. And the wooden cabinet is a opaque substance which do not allow light to pass through them at all. All substances are made up of matter and matter is made up of particles and matter exists in three different states solid, liquid and gas. For example, the solid ice, the liquid water and the gaseous steam. We are going to group matter based on these three states solid, liquid and gas. Properties of all solids. Solids have definite shape and volume. Solids cannot be compressed. Solid particles are closely packed. The properties of liquid. Liquid have definite volume but no definite shape. They take the shape of the container as they are poured into. Liquids can be compressed to a small extent. Liquid particles are not as closely packed as in solids. The property of gas. No definite shape and volume for gases. Gases are highly compressible. Particles are loosely packed. Now we are going to solve page number 65. Let's remember. True and false. Number 1 is true. Number 2 is false. Number 3 is true, number 4 is false, and number 5 is false. Matter can be soluble, or insoluble, or miscible, or immiscible. This property is called solubility when materials can dissolve in water. For example, common salt and sugar can dissolve in water and are called soluble. Sand, wood, chalk, they are insoluble in water. Liquids, those who dissolve in water, are called miscible like lemon juice, vinegar, alcohol, honey, glycerin. Liquids that do not dissolve in water are called immiscible like oil, diesel, kerosene. Gases also dissolve in water. Oxygen dissolves in water which is essential for survival of aquatic organisms. Soft drinks have dissolved carbon dioxide in them and such gases like nitrogen, helium and hydrogen are insoluble in water. Metals sinks while cork floats. This property of materials to float on water 
whereas others or sinks is called flotation. Light objects are able to float on water while dense objects sink in water. The next property is attraction towards magnet. Materials like iron, nickel and cobalt are attracted to a magnet. We are going to classify the given materials in an activity as magnetic or non-magnetic. The material required to be pins of metals, clips made of plastic, pencil, eraser, water, glass, cardboard, comb, nails, iron key, rock, sewing needle, paper and a magnet. First, we should bring the magnet near the objects one by one. Then we should observe which objects are attracted towards the magnet and which are not. Observations will be pins, nails, keys, swing needles are attracted to the magnet so they are magnetic substances. Eraser, clips, pencil, water, comb, rock, glass, cardboard and paper are not attracted to the magnet so they are non-magnetic substances. So some materials can be magnetic whereas some can be non-magnetic. We must have observed the handles of most kitchen utensils like this pressure cooker are made of wood or plastic. This is because the property of metals of conduction of heat. Why aren't the handles made of metal as well? Because when metals get heated, such materials like plastic and wood, they do not get heated. And it would be difficult for the handles if they are made of metal to hold them while cooking. Materials that allow heat to flow through them are called conductors of heat. Whereas materials that do not allow heat to flow through them are called insulators of heat. Metals are usually conductors of heat and non-metals such as wood, plastic, glass, bamboo, air, paper are insulators of heat. We get electricity in our homes through cables and wires which are made of number of metal wires and a plastic covering. For example, this copper wire. The metal wire copper conducts or transmits electricity whereas the plastic covering provides insulation and do not conduct electricity. So we are safe if we by chance hold or touch these wires which is having a copper wire inside but a plastic insulated covering outside. Materials which conduct electricity are conductors we have already discussed and those who do not conduct electricity are called insulators. Now let's remember, match the following, page number 67, column A with column B. I have written down vinegar, miscible in water, gold, conductor, iron, attracted to magnet, coconut oil, immiscible in water, rock, sinks in water, glass, insulator. Now we're going to solve page number 68 and 69, exercise question answers. Pause the video and watch the answers for yourself. One is smooth. 2 is soft, 3 is translucent, 4 is gases, 5 is immiscible. Part B, choose the correct option. 1 is sandpaper, 2 is liquids, 3 is oil paper, 4 is its particles are closely packed, 5 is wax, 6 is metals, 7 is solid state, 8 is rock, 9 is carbon dioxide, 10 is copper wire. Page 69, part 2, very short answer type questions, part 1A. Soft materials, cotton and sponge. Two, transparent materials are water and cellophane paper. Three, opaque materials, wood and iron plate. Four, gaseous insoluble in water, that is hydrogen and helium. Five, magnetic materials, that is iron and nickel. Six, insulators, that is wood and plastic. So you have to pause the video and write these answers. Give one word for the following. Part B, one, materials that have uneven or bumpy surface, rough. The next is opaque, next is miscible, next is magnetic. The fifth one is gases. Pause the video to watch the answers. Part 3, short answer type questions. Which property of metals makes them useful for making jewelry? This answer is last chair. Number 2, the answer is rock is hard, cotton is soft. Answer 3 is property of materials to float on water is called flotation. Answer 4 is wood are insulators. Hard plastics are also insulators. They are easy to hold because they are not getting heated up while cooking. Number five, why are electrical cables made of metal wires? Because they are very good conductors of electricity. Question six, what are conductors and insulators of electricity? Give one example. So you give example, copper wire is a conductor, plastic thread is an insulator. Case 69, part four, long answer type questions. Differentiate between transparent, translucent and opaque. Give two examples for each. You will do it by yourself by looking at the book and this video. Number two, what is magnetism? It is a property of attracting metals certain metals to a magnet. Describe an activity difference in magnetic and non-magnetic. You will mention it as it is already done in the activity. The magnetic materials will be attracted by magnet and the non-magnetic will not be attracted by the magnets. Number three, describe grouping of materials depending upon the solubility in water. So soluble, insoluble, miscible, 
immiscible these are the groups and you can give examples for them as the grouping is there so that's all for the chapter the question answers are solved here and i hope you have solved the entire chapter so this is going to be also in your exam thank you very much bye take care